Hey, 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 cooking with your girl Judy. Tonight, this is my part two of my video. I'm going to put them on separate videos. So we're going to have Maryland Chesapeake Crab Cakes. I lived in Baltimore, Maryland for about maybe 20 years, 20, 25 years. And I love the crab cakes. And uh, I haven't had a good crab cake since I left Maryland. And uh, actually, when we went back to visit, it was a little place uh, on the outskirts of Baltimore called Potomac. And uh, we stopped in and got us a crab cake, and it was delicious. So you're going to need crab, a can of crab meat. The uh, real crab meat, or I guess imitation, but I like this kind of crab meat right here. This is good. And uh, you're going to need a can of that. I think it's a pound. An ounce, pound. I think it's a pound. Okay, you'll need Worcestershire sauce. One egg. Lemon juice. Parsley flakes. Old Bay seasoning. My egg running away. Old Bay seasoning. Dijon mustard. Mayonnaise. I prefer Duke's mayonnaise. And I'm going to put a little thyme in it. Just a little. And uh, breadcrumbs. Any kind of breadcrumbs you want. I decided to get the panko. And I'm going to put it on this bun along with some tartar sauce. And I might put my little mayonnaise on top of the crab cake and eat it like that. Okay. I'm going to, um, I want to get started, but I want to open up my can of crab meat and strain it. And uh, get some of this juice off of it. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, I'm back with the uh, crab meat. I didn't have to uh, strain it, but uh, this is cooked crab meat. I'm tasting it. Mmm, it's good. But it's not seasoned. I'm going to take one egg and put in half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm going to mix it together. Make sure you mix it thoroughly. And to give it a little spice, I'm going to take half of a teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome Magic Seafood Magic. About a half teaspoon. No, about a teaspoon. Put it in the mayonnaise. Actually, you were supposed to put cayenne pepper in the mayonnaise. I didn't have any cayenne pepper, or I can't locate it right now. So, I'm going to put in a little soul food seasoning, about a teaspoon. And you're gonna try to leave the crab meat lumpy. So, oh Lord, I've spilled the lemon juice. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. And we were supposed to have one tablespoon of pimentos. 
red peppers sauteed in butter, but I didn't have that. So that's optional. The cayenne pepper and the uh, uh, red pimentos or, or the um, peppers sauteed, red peppers sauteed in butter. So I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of lemon juice. One tablespoon of parsley. And by the way, this is a pound of cra crab meat. Tablespoon of parsley. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. I'm going to put just a little bit more Old Bay seasoning in it. I'm going to put two teaspoons of Old Bay. And uh, it was supposed to have Tabasco sauce in it. I don't buy Tabasco sauce, so that's optional. If you want to, you can use uh, six drops of Tabasco sauce. And you're going to need two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. I'm going to mix it with my hand. I'm trying not to break the lumps apart. I'm going to add the mayonnaise mixture. Get a spoon. Get the rest of that mayonnaise mixture out. The mayonnaise and the egg. Now I'm gonna mix it with a fork. Trying to avoid breaking the lumps apart. This is something like uh, salmon patties, but it don't have the onion in it. I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon, about a teaspoon of thyme. And Dijon mustard. Gently mixing it, trying not to break it up so bad. If you never had a crab cake, you need to get one. I like to eat crab cakes with uh, mustard and crackers. Okay, now I'm going to make the patties.
that was simple. Okay, good and moist. I want you to be able to see them. Just like salmon patties. But this is crab, crab meat. You can fry them or bake them, but we're going to fry them in butter. And I'm trying to make them as big as the hamburger buns. They're not real big hamburger buns. They're little hamburger buns. Because I'm going to put mine on a hamburger bun. With a little uh, coleslaw. Had a little left. I'm going to pat that in there. Okay, now we're going to put them in the refrigerator for about an hour. Then we're going to dump them in the breadcrumbs, twirl them around in the breadcrumbs. But these, be, these will be sitting in the refrigerator for about an hour. Okay, here we are back again uh, with the uh, crab patties. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I put, I took the original crab patties that I patted up and put them back in the bowl and I put an egg another egg in it and I put about uh, another cup a cup of breadcrumbs and um, I patted them back up because I had patted one up and fried it in butter and it didn't turn out right usually I bake them but it didn't turn out right. It fell apart. So I put another egg and uh, some more breadcrumbs in there. You have to sort of, you know, figure this out yourself by, you know, error and trial. Uh, and, and that was the error. But now I'm going to put some breadcrumbs in the plate here. 
and uh, take them patting them out in, in, in there. That one patty, it did good. It tasted good. It, it had the best flavor, but uh, it didn't. It didn't hold together good. And then with it being frying in that butter, it, it was like the butter was like burning. So I'm using olive oil. I'm gonna use olive oil now to uh, fry the crab patties in. It's been such a long time since I made some. Okay. I'm going to take them out and uh, dump the breadcrumbs on them. And I'm going to make three. Because I'll eat one. And then one of... The kids, when they come home from school, they'll probably eat one, and then we'll have one left, you know, or somebody else will probably eat it. No, I'm going to do four, because I forgot. I got Denia here with her smart mouth. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and test the grease and see if it's hot enough. Sounds like it's hot enough. I'm gonna lay them in there. Hey, baby. Turn them up just a little bit. Okay, I had to wash my hands off. Look like they're going to do good. And I've got my grease on for my french fries. I've decided I want some Riley's Famous Season French Fries.
Now with a pound of crab meat, you could get like 12 little ones or you can get six large size ones. So I decided to get six. Actually, I had seven and that was a, the one I uh, fried and I uh, found out it didn't come, come out right. So I still got enough, six. was wonderful to the crab cake it just fell apart and I think this is gonna stay together I should have probably tried to bake them in the oven but I wanted mine fried and I'm frying them in olive oil and look like they stay in together so instead of one egg put two eggs in the mayonnaise and uh, instead of two tablespoons of breadcrumbs put about maybe a cup and a half of breadcrumbs and I let them sit all night in the uh, refrigerator Looks like they're going to do good. Yes, they're going to be perfect. Yes, two eggs will do. I heard from Skylar last night. She uh, FaceTimed me, and uh, she's having a good time with her daddy in Tennessee. And uh, she told me, she says, when I was talking to her too long on the phone, she says, bye, Granny, I got to go. So I know she's having a good time. I'm gonna turn them down just a little bit. Now that you see what what, what they look like, I'm on. I'm going to go away, and then then I'm gonna come back when they get really done, cause these are pretty, a lot prettier than that one I did last night. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I fried them on low for about maybe. 20 minutes you want to get the inside done and these are crab patties now I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna fix me a plate and uh, show you how it turned out now I'm gonna fix it up I'm gonna grill my bun
Y'all notice how quiet it is in here? Just me, my cat, and my two dogs. And it's a little after lunchtime. Kid's still in school. Sounds so good. I don't hear nothing. And I'm loving it. I had to get me a late lunch. I've been out shopping for some stuff to go in a soup that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how I do my beef and tomato, beef and potato soup. Beef, potatoes, and vegetables. Let me answer this phone. Yes, I'm doing a video. Uh huh. I, I'm not um, uh, inclined to do anything like that. You have to probably wait till the children come home. I don't. I don't even know how to work remote controls or uh, uh, cameras or cell phones or nothing like that. I'm. I'm just learning how to do this. Uh huh. Yeah, wait when the kids come home. They'll 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 go out there, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Bye bye. That was my neighbor next door. I don't know anything about remotes and stuff like that. I have no idea. Okay. Put a little tartar sauce on it. Gave a few french fries. Some coleslaw. And there's your crab patty with a little tartar on it. I might put me a little coleslaw on top of it. French fries. And this is going to be good. Okay, there you go. Crab patty, coleslaw, seasoned french fries, and there you have it. Like, subscribe, comment to my video. Be blessed. No, stay humble. Be blessed. Y'all have a good day. 
Y'all don't have to go home. But y'all got to get out of here. Bye for now.